Hello guys, Mike here, APL. I um, hope you guys are doing very well. Um, it is boiling in London today. I mean, boiling in London today. Um, and I'm trying to do this quick because I got my fan off, I got my headphones on, I got the window shut so that this doesn't pick up too much rubbish. And I'm hot, cold beer is helping. Anyway, um, I just wanted to, to do a, a quick video um, because I found some weird stuff today um, in Pro Tools. So I just finished this kind of short uh, queue, um, which is basically for a pitch. Um, for a corporate project, which I should probably hire. There we go. Um, and um, it's playing fine, right? We can, you know, we can jump around the project. You know, all good, right? You think no problems at all. Um, what I found was that I kept getting a CPU overload problem where Pro Tools would just stop, say a CPU is overloaded, and from that point on, um, it would have been crashed. Now, if we look at my, uh, I feel like I'm always jumping into this damn window, but I like to share when things go wrong and how, what I found, you know, um, to fix them because I, it might help you guys. You know, I've got absolutely tons of resources. There's no way that this computer is like, you know, rammed. We've got you know, seven tracks, six, seven tracks of reverb, a VO track, a video, you know, um, if I bring up my uh, mix window, I've literally got like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, set, six instances of contact, I've got reverb, I've got an EQ, and I've got like a Slate Digital Mastering running. It's not a big session. There's no, there's no reason for it to cut off or peak. It's just not a thing. Um, so, and that was happening. It was it was cutting off saying, I've run out of CPU uh, usage. So for a while now, I've thought there's been a problem with my Machionics desk. Um, so I borrowed a mate's um, small unit IO, just USB powered, bus powered IO, plugged it in, managed to put the, um, the hardware buffer right down. So normally I'm living at 512 um, with the Onyx, and I managed to bring it all the way down to 128 with no issue with his. Um, which was already a plus, um, but to my kind of disappointment, because at first I thought, oh, I've solved the problem, you know, um, it's the desk, I'm just going to replace the desk, you know, I'll get myself a UAD or something that's that's more up to date, something that's, that's um, Thunderbolt, whatever, but no, the same thing happened again, so let's play this again. No problems in terms of usage, right? Now let's turn the keyboard on. So I... Yep, keyboard's on. So I've got a really old M Audio Keystation 88ES or whatever it is. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's not great. Let's put it that way. It's, it, I, I hate it, to be honest. I want to change it for years, but it served a purpose. So if I trigger record my um, spiccato notes here, right, I can... We're playing fine, yeah? No probs, right? Now, if I say I want to get some ideas together, normally I'd like to play... No probs, right? We're all good. Can we record? No problem, right? Can we play this back? But now, if I sort of just hammer some chords, say I'm trying to work something, you know. Okay, so now it's going to work, is it? Right, here we go. There we go, there we have it. Managed to do it. CPU overload has occurred. This happens, try increasing your buffer size. Now, now if I try to look at my, if I go, yeah, okay. And if I bring up my, um, where am I now? My, um, my system usage window. We're back to normality to a point. But if I try and play this from this point onwards, 
watch what happens when we get to here. Boom! Straight up to 100%, CPU overload. Jumps back down, right? Try and play it again. So basically, whatever whatever I was record triggered, and, and the session, for lack of a better word, is fucked now. Like, you can't... I'm gonna have to basically, you know, I can't do anything now with this session. In fact, it's now actually crashed. So my entire Pro Tools session, um, you know, it's not telling me just yet that that's happened, because we're still in this window. But the session has crashed, right? So I'm gonna turn my keyboard off for a second. Yep, yeah, we're still sitting here with the spinning wheel, yeah? So, to me, this is just odd behaviour. Because if I was to open up Pro Tools, you know, and just get the, the pen tool, which I can't show you right now because Pro Tools is currently crashing, in fact, in the background. Um, let me, yeah, just so you guys can see, that is now, Pro Tools has officially crashed, right? So let's kill, let's kill Pro Tools. You can look at me for a bit while I sort this out. So I'm going to bring back the session. Now, you know... If I just had the pencil tool up and I was just drawing into Pro Tools, just doing whatever I was doing actually on the, um, in the window, if you like, in the piano roll, that would never happen. Like, so it seems to me like you can use it, I can use that keyboard for a bit, but after a period of time, the whole thing goes crazy and then your session crashes. And in some, in some instances as well, and I haven't understood this part yet, I've had to actually go back to a, a, a session backup and load a session backup because the, even, the, even the main session doesn't work. So it's a lot of kind of idiopathic, a lot of it's not making sense to me, right? So it, it just makes like zero sense. Um, so we should be, yeah, we're loading the session back up now. So let's bring you back over to my, my main screen. Um, now, what I did to try and test this, I've got like an, uh, this is a, a Korg, just like portable keyboard. A little bit like the nano control that I use, but you can use this just as like a, a normal keyboard, right? So if I, if I connect this up, just for a second, right? Into here. Uh, and to demo what I was talking about as well, in terms of being able to just draw like nuts. You know, I know we managed to play for quite some time um, in, terms of, in terms of the session without any grief. But if I just bring this up, Right, let's go into Spiccato. And let's just draw any old rubbish, right? You know, and it, you can, you know. Okay, it's a bit delayed. Because I'm not actually clicking, but even if I... So my point being why I'm doing this is if it was the library, you know, can I play this back? If it was the library doing this... It's a bit like a Stravinsky kind of uh, Ligeti Quartet mentalness, right? My point being, if it was the library that was really having a problem there, it would have crashed just based on the computer trying to sample those amount, that amount of... Um, of notes, right? So if I bring up my spiccato, I put it onto record, and we, now I've plugged in this this thing, right? So trigger triggering loads of notes, right? I mean, let's just muck about with it. Let's just let's just like this playback. If you can see that. So you can see me as well. You know. And let's go over this mental bit as well. And I'll. Going crazy, right? You know, like. You know, where's that, where's the window telling me 
where's the window now telling me that that you know i've run out of system disk space uh, you know resources the resources are if anything lower than they were when i had the keyboard plugged in right So this is just bizarre to me. That you know, there's like what? There's no spikes, there's no crashes, there's no CPU overload. That I've never known a keyboard to cause that problem. And that's why I had to make this video because it makes no sense to me. You know, I can understand maybe but the only thing I can think is that the keyboard's old and when I'm sort of hammering notes or whatever it's sending dodgy information to the computer and the computer's trying to play that out too quickly and it's crashing it that's the only thing I can think because there's no there's no rhyme or reason for this so for argu argument's sake let's, let's put the keyboard back on right Right, so now we've got the keyboard back on, right? And let's just play some rubbish here. Let's just get, I'm gonna disconnect this completely, right? So that's just, that's gone. So now we, all we've got is the old M audio, right? So far, so good. Boom. <laughs> what? Uh, you know, if, I mean, if anyone can explain to me what that is about, I would love to know. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's almost like I was about to buy a new interface and we're talking eight, nine thousand pounds. And it's a keyboard that's causing me the problem. It doesn't make sense. And, and, and the session's dead, guys. Like, I, I, let me try, it might play, this bit will probably play, right? As soon as it gets to here, dead right completely dead now I wonder let me disconnect the keyboard again and let's wait a second yeah so let's let's just leave it let's go and look again at this because I've had this as well where this system usage window once that's happened it's been just maxed out a hundred percent that's now not happened right so remember before when we did this I did it for a third time where I allowed it to crash in terms of it saying that you've run out of CPU. And now I've turned the keyboard off for what? 15 seconds, let's see if it plays. Okay, it doesn't. So it's dead, the system's dead. And then that's the third time, which probably means We're never going to play past that bit because that was the library that I was recording on. That was the library that I used this keyboard on. But, you know, that it did not happen when I was using this small Korg thing. So it's definitely the keyboard. And I just, I'm going to end the video there because I'm going to keep going around in circles. But I have no idea what, what that's about. If anybody can fill me in, that would be really useful. And if you can't, just if you have, I'll try and tag this video in best I can. I hope you guys find it. It's not your computer. It's not, it's not your IO. It's, it's your damn keyboard. <laughs> so yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, I'll be back soon. I just bought a whole new load more gear. So I'll be going through that um, tomorrow, uh, mainly for the podcast. Um, but um, yeah, um, I suppose I'll be getting a new keyboard soon. All right, gang. See you later. Bye-bye.